Hey everyone, this is Sean with Pew Pew Tactical, your definitive source for all the pews. In today's episode, I'll be reviewing the Walther PDP and telling you whether it cuts the mustard as a defensive handgun. I'll share my reasoning so you can decide if this might be a good choice for you. I've had my hands on the full-size 4.5-inch and compact 4-inch models since September of 2020, a few months before Walther rolled them out in February of 2021. My initial introduction was fast, furious, and conducted by the Walther Defense Division, a high-caliber cadre of instructors consisting of Tatiana Whitlock, Bill Blowers, Scott Jedlinski, Jim Dexter, and Nick Young. We spent two solid days shooting from dawn until well after dark, even transitioning to night vision. Our coursework had us shooting the PDPs from different positions and scenarios. It is easy to say in the event alone, I got a good feel for the guns. My initial reaction was I needed to start carrying the gun at work, and that's exactly what I did. For my remaining 10 years as a peace officer in Colorado, I carried the full-size PDP while on duty. I often carried the compact model while off-duty. I qualified with these weapons and continued to train with them well beyond the 5,000 round mark. In that time, I found a lot to like about the gun and only one thing that I didn't. The grip was the first thing I noticed. Picking up the gun, I was struck with its shape, how it conformed to my hand. It wasn't exactly alien symbiosis, but something very close to that. Vague finger grooves and rounded surfaces supported my grip all over. Next, I noticed how aggressive the performance duty texture on the grip felt. It was just shy of cheese grater. I instantly understood the design. Walther wanted me to get a solid hold to help me manage recoil, and they wanted me to keep it through any scenario. Over the years, I have come to accept limitations for striker-fired triggers. You could say I've gotten used to them in favor of other benefits the platform offers. The trigger on the PDP is an improvement. There is a bit of travel as you take up the slack before hitting a tactile wall, which then breaks around four pounds on average. Reset is short, crisp, and can be felt and heard. The overall result is a repeatable, predictable experience. Another of my favorite features was the Super Terrain Serrations, a fitting name for the canyon-like grooves on the end of the gun. These fit the overall theme of tactility and allowed me to run the slide with confidence, press checking with the greatest of ease. Additionally, the slide houses the red dot mounting system Walther uses. I've had zero problems with mine since I started shooting it. The red dot ready status of the PDP means you pick up an optic after purchase, notify Walther what you want to use, then they will ship you out the appropriate plate. Another cool feature of their system is the optic mount is set deep into the slide, sometimes deep enough that you don't need suppressor height sights. Walther was smart here too, making the PDP compatible with the clock sights. At this point, I have in excess of 5,000 rounds through both guns, but this is by no means any great feat. Nick Young of the Walther Defense Division has an estimated 50,000 through one he's had since the initial event. The accuracy has been very good from the start. I shot a one inch group from 10 yards when I zeroed my loophole Delta Point Pro. The barrel features polyagonal rifling to aid in this accuracy. Reliability has been very sound, though I did experience a couple failures to feed after finally running the gun ridiculously dry. A quick lube resolved this. The only complaint I have on the PDP is something I make happen. My big hands and the high grip I use to hold the gun cause me to ride the slide stop. This results in a pretty consistent failure to lock back on the last round. I do my best to adapt to this, and it's not a deal breaker because it happens to me with other guns too. That being said, everything else about the gun is stellar. The capacity is good, with the full size carrying 18 plus one rounds and the compact holding 15 plus one. The magazines fed reliably and dropped from the gun every time I press the mag release. The mag release itself is another small victory because I don't have to change my grip to reach it. All in, the Walther PDP is an outstanding option. It has good capacity, proven accuracy, and some of the best ergonomics I've ever experienced on a striker-fired handgun. I felt confident enough to carry it on duty and recommend it wholeheartedly to other shooters without reservation. The PDP is now available in five different configurations, full size in four inch, four and a half inch, and five inch, and compact in four inch and five inch. They all have an MSRP of $699, though I've seen them online for around $100 less. 
That's a wrap for the Walther PDP. In short, it's an awesome handgun. This has been Sean, and I thank you for watching. For more information related to your favorite gun topics, head to pewpewtactical.com.